Hi, this is Jake from Optimus Futures, and in this video, I'll be covering a topic that many traders who use this platform may not be too familiar with, and it's actually the Forex order book. Now, the reason many traders may not be familiar with it is because it's not forefront on the platform. You actually need to configure this order book yourself, and even when looking at it, it may not be clear as to exactly what it is. So let's open it up and take a look for ourselves. Now the order book can actually be opened by left clicking essentially any of these component selection tools, as you can see which are located across the platform in various locations. Now they're pretty standard. There should be one in the top left here. There should be one attached to charting accounts and then your activity log down at the bottom. All you need to do is just left click that plus button and then open up our component. In this case, it is order book. Now this does take a second to load and once you're in, you'll notice you'll see a graph, you'll see it's updated 13 minutes ago or whatever the case may be for you. If at any time you can update it there, you'll have your currency here or your Forex pair. Let's go back here. You'll have cumulative, non-cumulative or a net of the order book. And then you can filter based off of orders, positions or both. Now you may be looking at this and maybe questioning what it is. Well, the Forex order book is essentially a 24 hour summary of open orders and positions held by Oanda's clients. So in layman's terms, this essentially means you can see exactly what everybody is trading on the market or specifically what Oanda customers are trading and what price levels are trading at, what percentage of the market is at these price levels. So historically only dealing desk traders had this information and placing other traders in the Forex market at a disadvantage, essentially. So Oanda being the first to utilize this tool is essentially it breaks down the barrier with the order book in the opens position summaries. These two utilities are part of Oanda suite of decision making software tools. So essentially, it's just a software tool that can help you make decisions. It's somewhat comparable to a dome as many future traders may use for their training. We've covered that in a ton of our other videos. It's essentially an order book that you can place trades off of. Now, although you can't essentially place trades directly from this, you can directly see the market depth that is going on. And what's nice is you do get a fully functional graph with your open, high, low, and closed price levels here listed at the bottom for you. And it's completely interactive so you can scale in and out You can change whether it's non-cumulative or net of the two or cumulative. And again, we're only on orders right now. You can do positions as well, already held positions. You can show all of both. So you can see any open or active orders currently in the market, as well as any current positions other traders may have. Now this comes in useful. Well, by studying the relationship of pending orders to positions, it's possible to deduce potential support and resistance levels for the current market, which you can see here. I mean, if you scroll your mouse above any of these graphs here, you can see you get the price levels in the orders percentage of what they are in according to the total market as a percentage as a whole. And this pretty much shows you how to gain some insight as to what other awareness clients are thinking. So now heading over to our open order side here, this is essentially just showing a snapshot of the trigger points for all open orders held by Oanda's clients, as I mentioned before. Now this information could be interpreted as an indicator of the client's price expectations, and these are contributing to natural resistance and support levels. And then over to our orders position sections, although we've pretty much talked about this, Again, this is just a snapshot of the entry prices for all open orders currently held by Oanda's clients again. Now this data, once again, can be interpreted as an indicator of the market's reaction to price changes and the pressure on prices due to unrealized profits and losses. So again, guys, pretty much just to wrap this up, just a really nice tool. It's very visually um, appealing. And it just, it's just a visual representation of what's going on in the market. This isn't for every Forex trader, of course, but just particular Oanda clients. Now, Oanda is a very, very popular Forex trading platform. 
So it's likely that the trends you'll notice here are relatively um, universal across the entire Forex market. Again, if you want, you can leave this open and you can use your rates tool on the left hand side here in place orders as you typically would. As you can see, I have my open positions on the left. So if I need to, I can just close this out real quick, real quick, go to the price level I might potentially trade at or the current market price, see what's going on based off of this graph here and make an uh, assumption or an educated guess as to what type of price level I wanna use. For traders that already have existing methods, this is great to use on top of it. But we just wanted to bring this to your attention for many traders that may not be familiar with it. This is a really unique tool that you don't find on many other Forex trading platforms. So for that reason, we figured we'd make a quick informative video just showing you how to access it and essentially a breakdown of what everything means in exactly what you're looking at. That will wrap it up for this video. Just a real quick video. We just wanted to show you what it's all about. We hope you found this helpful. If you found something new about this video, feel free to like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're looking for more informative content that you may not know about Forex or Awanda's web-based Forex trading platform, subscribe for that for more content. If you have any questions, you can post them down in the comment section below or post them on our community forum, which will be linked down in the description. Once again, thanks for watching and we hope you found this helpful.